Greetings fellow detectives, Wizard Kitten here bringing you a new build in my series building at Nancy Drew in The Sims 4. Today we are back doing another character home build. So these are builds for characters whose homes we do not get to see in the game but whose homes I like to imagine based on their personalities and their jobs and where they live within the Nancy Drew universe. And today I wanted to build something in Stranger Bill. I needed a really good excuse to build something in Strangerville because I'm continuing to work on kind of a Nancy Drew inspired-ish save file. Mostly it's a save file that's based in kind of more realistic type gameplay and just including a lot of the kinds of lot types that I prefer and houses and community lots that look the way that I kind of prefer as compared to, you know, like the Maxis type houses and whatnot. So yes, that's a very long way of saying I needed to build something in Strangerville. And when I was thinking about who I could build a home for in Strangerville, I thought of Tex Britton and Shorty Thurmond from Nancy Drew's Secret of Shadow Ranch. Neither of them appear to live on the ranch. It seems like they have a home off the ranch, like they live somewhere where nearby the ranch almost like they rented out and I kind of imagine that this is almost like for park employees who are seasonal there are like ranch hands who are like sort of seasonal and they work there only at certain times during the year um, I mean the weather doesn't necessarily change in Arizona they could probably work there all year long but more that idea that there are these kind of um, ranch style houses that are available for people to rent that are not super nice um very temporary style type housing um very bachelor style type housing so that's what i was going for i went for a classic ranch style house um, lots of dark woods once we get onto the inside i decided to use basically anything that looked grody, grungy, dirty. So a lot of the um, really cool decorative items that came with city living, or not decorative items, but I guess the build by items that came with city living that make everything look really run down. And I honestly love how this place turned out. This is a really fun style to build in because I feel like it looks very realistic. Like I have definitely seen homes like this before where things do not look picture perfect. And that can happen a lot in The Sims when you're building where everything just looks, you know, like a little bit too nice, a, li a little bit too clean, a little bit too organized. And it, it was just fun to make a place that did not look too clean or too organized. I was struggling um, for quite a bit to kind of figure out the scale of the build. I was like, how tall do we want it? Because I was trying to use platforms, but also have a separate garage space. And so the single tile floors felt a little bit short and the uh, double tile walls felt a little bit too tall. So I was like, can we have like a one and a half, please? That would be perfect. What I eventually ended up doing was making it the short wall height because I preferred how that looked on the outside. Otherwise the house just looked way too big and this is not supposed to be a house that looks big. This is supposed to be a house that looks overall pretty small, pretty compact and uh, the living room space is on a platform, but the rest of the house is not. So the garage gets the full wall height experience. The bedrooms, the kitchen, and the bathroom get the full wall height experience. It's only the living room that's a little bit shorter. And honestly, I still kind of like that because then what it does is it makes the ceilings shorter, which makes this place feel even more grungy and run down which is kind of fun. I do also spend a great deal of time going through the debug menu because I feel like when you're doing this kind of style of build, it really pays off to look through the debug menu and find overgrown landscaping and just kind of like dirty yard decorations and things that you wouldn't normally put or like fences that don't look perfect um, which is what we eventually do I find a fence that looks just like the one from the house to the left that is a fake house that's one of like the filler ones that um, makes the neighborhood look more realistic like there's other houses there even though it's not a playable lot so that's what I was looking for I was trying to make this house really blend into Strangerville make it look really like deserty and also ranch style and also just like a little bit dirty and a little bit kind of creepy because that's the vibe of Strangerville for sure. It's kind of a little bit run down and a little bit creepy. 
And here's that fence I was talking about. Very happy with how that looked. Um, honestly, the fences, using fences in debug can be such a good way to make your builds just look more realistic and like they belong in the world more. A lot of the time, the real fences in the game, they just look way too nice. And so I almost like don't like using them sometimes because it's just like nobody has a fence that is that pristine. <laughs> Fences are meant to be, you know, a little bit wobbly, a little bit bent, um, a little bit splintered kind of thing. I also wanted to make sure I included um, lots of nice desert decor, some cacti, of course, because if we're in Arizona or if we're in Strangerville, either one, there would definitely be lots of nice cacti. But I also wanted to have these overgrown kind of shrubs and bushes, which maybe don't necessarily make sense in a desert build, but really helped to give that overgrown, not super well taken care of feeling to the rest of the house. So we went with kind of like a greenish theme overall for the main color scheme of the house. Greens and then lots of kind of dark neutrals. So like the dark red brick, I consider that more of a neutral. And the dark wood tones, the dark or medium wood tones, I, we use a little bit of both. And that's kind of the overall color scheme that we have for the house. The backyard, I do like how this particular lot already has kind of the splotching going on with it, so it already kind of looked like it had something interesting going on, so I didn't have to do too much terrain paint, which is good because the glitch still exists where terrain paint disappears after you place a lot and then load back into it. So you do all of this work getting your nice, beautiful terrain paint going, and then it vanishes. Then you have no more terrain paint when you load into the lot or when you upload it to the gallery, <laughs> which reminds me this lot is uploaded to the gallery. Um, you can find my gallery ID in the description of this video below. And it's uploaded basically just as like a Strangerville military bachelor type, um, type house, but rest assured that this is a house for Tex and Shorty. That is how I imagined it <laughs> when I was making it. Now, I don't know where Dave lives. I thought about trying to make this like a three bedroom kind of place where they all live in the same place, but I'm wondering if maybe Dave lives with like another cowpoke somewhere else. I was also struggling with the floor plan quite a bit, so it took me a little while to figure out exactly how I wanted it. I just knew I wanted a galley kitchen, so because I wanted the kitchen to be tiny and that eventually I was able to figure out by swapping the placement of the like just taking the bathroom out of where it was in the living room and having it more on the side and then having this kind of um, hallway space, I suppose, with all of the connecting doors into the bedrooms and whatnot. And this is where we are switching over to using the gross floor options. And I use lights that I never really get to use because um, I wanted it to look kind of not very bright. I wanted it to have one light in each room, not a very good light either, just kind of dark. And then once I had confirmed what the floor plan was going to be, I then moved on to finishing the outside. And I wanted the outside to have activities that bachelor sims would enjoy doing. So we end up putting a fire pit with a bunch of mismatched chairs and then a cooler outside so the gents can sit around the fire just like they do in Secret of Shadow Ranch. Um, they can have a little cookout around the fire. Um, grab some drinks out of the cooler and just uh, have a good time chatting outside. I do also put a horseshoe pit that uh, came with outdoor retreat and I do put a clothesline outside just because I feel like clotheslines always look so good in these types of yards where there's kind of like a lot going on. I don't know, it just looks really good. Oh look, it's me doing the terrain paint that's going to disappear. <laughs> Great. Honestly, the most annoying glitch. There are other glitches that I'm like you know what? It's frustrating, but I can live with it. That one, I am so over. I really wish that terrain paint glitch would get fixed where it stops disappearing. It takes a lot of work to do terrain paint. I had a lot of fun picking out the chairs to go around the fire pit as well. I just tried to find chairs that looked like they could have been pulled out of a dumpster or chairs that were like bought at a camping store or a supply store for where the guys would go to get kind of things for the ranch, um, like folding chairs, simple things like that. I have absolutely no idea if that's how those kinds of things work in real life, but I just liked the look of it. It was all fun. A grill out the back, of course. Um, 
um, so Shorty can do some of the cooking. I kind of imagine that Shorty does all of his good cooking at the ranch because he's cooking for like all the ranch hands, he's cooking for the Raleigh's, so he's doing a lot of cooking there. And I kind of imagine that like when he gets home for the night, he doesn't like to cook. Like I think when he's here, he probably just makes microwave burritos and coffee. And I know that Tex doesn't like to cook. I know that Tex is, Tex has to have such a simple diet, you guys. He probably eats only meat and potatoes and eggs probably and bacon and he drinks his coffee black and that's basically it like there's no way he's gonna have anything fancy or that he's gonna spend any time in the kitchen trying to do anything nice so honestly this place is perhaps mostly designed for Tex um, because that's kind of the vibe like I don't have time for anything else I'm so busy like working I'm at the ranch most nights until super late anyway like I don't have time to come in here and clean are you kidding me <laughs> I don't have time to come in here and make a nice dinner like what who does that so that's the vibes and I'm really happy with how it turned out I do also like like having the platforms step down into different rooms a bit that just feels again so realistic that's really the point of making a save file for me is that I want things to feel more realistic than they do in the game and I want there to be more things for sims to do when they visit community lots around the world. So for example, I have been working a little bit on San Myshuno recently because in the legacy challenge that I'm doing, um, just in my own personal gameplay, where the, each generation is a different expansion pack or game pack with two randomized stuff packs and it's random each time I'm spinning a wheel to decide what it is. I'm now coming up on the San Myshuno generation and I renovated the art center because it just does not look like an art museum. And I really want my Sims to be able to go there and like have an art museum experience. So I went onto the gallery and I found a bunch of art that the Sims can make in game, like all of the pop art and all the impressionism art and all the abstract art. And I made different exhibits around the art center so that they can actually go and have a nice art museum experience. So those kinds of things are what I'm like really trying to do, especially with the community lots, is to make it feel like this is a real place that real people could visit and it has things to do rather than just like wander around and go hang out at the bar, which is what the art center was literally about before. But anyway, that's enough griping about how the game comes with community lots. Honestly, they've been much better recently because they've been having game changers do the lots. But anywho, this kitchen is probably my favorite room in the entire house. I think this is such a realistic kitchen. I cluttered it up with basically anything I could find that I thought they would have. So like an empty cereal box and empty cans on the counter, of course. Ketchup and mustard out on the counter, of course. A jar of peppers, like jalapeno peppers. I feel like that's probably the only seasoning that the guys do on their food, um, particularly Tex, is that he'll like take peppers out of the jar and like use those sometimes. I did also put a couple of plants here just because I needed something to fill up this space, but I figured these were like fake cacti. Um, they look sort of real, but I wanted them to be fake because again, they're not taking care of plants. Nobody's watering these cacti. Not that cacti need to be watered all that often, but they need it sometimes, and neither of these guys is going to remember to water the cacti or take care of the cacti give it sun that's the problem it's a middle room with no windows it has no sun that's why they're fake there you go I know plants just kidding I totally don't I'm really really bad with plants I do not have a green thumb I have mentioned this on the channel before I really wish I did I really wish I could grow plants but I can't so that's the story of my life we're now moving on to the bathroom. I'm also really happy with how the bathroom turned out. I feel like I have definitely seen bathrooms like this before as well. I went with kind of like a yellowish theme in terms of like basically anything that I could have yellowish I decided to do in the yellow, which ended up being the mirror with um, the medicine cabinet behind it and the sink and then the bathtub. It was fun seeing just like the yellow patterns all over because I feel like that just makes it look so much more outdated than it could otherwise. But uh, the guys do have, you know, their toothpaste, they have their soap. I didn't put a bath mat um, because I felt like they wouldn't like 
care to buy a bath mat and same thing in the kitchen like I thought about putting the rug down and I was like wait they wouldn't go buy a rug for the kitchen they wouldn't do that they wouldn't have time <laughs> or the interest in that at all but what they would have is a magazine rack um, next to the toilet because uh, yeah I also imagine that they don't take baths all that often. They probably only use the bathtub to come in and like wash mud off of their boots and stuff. So I put these splatters on the walls to make the bathtub look even more kind of grody. Um, like there's always something muddy in there. I do kind of imagine that Tex would have a dog. I sort of feel like he's like a chocolate lab kind of guy. I didn't give him any dog stuff, but I feel like this house would suit a dog and a dog would be okay to live here. There's definitely enough space to put a food bowl down somewhere, but I don't know. I just feel like Tex is, is a dog person. And for some reason, a chocolate lab is coming to mind for me. I do not think Shorty is a pet person. I don't think Shorty likes animals, <laughs> which is funny because he works on the ranch, but I feel like that's more out of necessity because of what he's up to, you know? Anyway, this is Shorty's room. Shorty has the nicer room. I think he put a little bit more care into his room. I put some papers out, like he's trying to look through some confidential files to find uh, you know what. And he brought some books with him. He has his own mirror. Like he does have a couple of his own personal effects. I think that the dresser and the bed and the artwork came with the house already. And same with the curtains, the blinds. I think all of that came with the house and then anything else the guys would have to bring themselves so like Tex just brought a crate in here and then like borrowed a lantern from the ranch or like purchased a lantern at a store and just has those kinds of crummy things and that he uses like a pop-up chair in his room he barely has decorated the room beyond what is already in the room however I think the decorations are definitely to his taste especially since there's one with a cowboy on a horse so very pleased to see that. Again, just the necessities, some laundry soap, some Kleenexes. I thought about putting extra shoes down because I figured he would just kick his shoes off. But then I also realized Tex definitely doesn't wear anything besides cowboy boots. He would only wear cowboy boots and nothing else. And we don't have separate cowboy boots in the game. So that's the idea behind Tex's house, Tex's room. Very limited in terms of decor because he just doesn't care. That is not where his priorities are. So now I believe we are moving on to the garage space, which was pretty fun to build. This could have been a functional garage in that the truck could have fit through the pretend garage doors because we don't actually have cars in The Sims 4. But I like the idea that the garage has been more converted into a storage space for necessities as well as kind of a little bit of a man cave. So I do put a woodworking table in here. I put another cooler in here. I put a foosball table in here. And I do also put a laundry machine in here since I did put a laundry basket on the lot as well as a um, clothesline. So there is the possibility to do laundry, which I feel like they would have to do a lot given the work that they do. Like they're probably, they probably have dirty clothes all the time. So I think that's one thing that Tex cares about having clean is that he does care about washing all of his dirty, muddy, dusty ranch clothes at the end of the day. I also really enjoyed putting the pink flowery vacuum down <laughs> because I imagined that the whoever owns this place and rents it out to people like the vacuum is there so that people can take care of the place and vacuum the place but they only have this really cheap pink vacuum so I just really enjoyed the visual of Tex being forced to vacuum the house with the pretty little pink vacuum <laughs> I just enjoyed that image I thought it was fun and now we're moving on to the final room of the house before I will take you on a little bit of a tour of the house, which is the living room space. So the living room here is, again, very functional. There is nothing really like fun about the living room. There's a TV. 
but I don't imagine that the guys like to watch TV together all that much. I'm pretty sure they like to watch totally different things on TV, which is why they both have one in their room as well. But there is a TV out here just in case, and then functional storage. So like there's a cabinet with sheets and blankets in it, and that's basically it. There's a pile of bills. There's a gross chair out the front that they got out of a dumpster. Gross couches that they um, probably also got out of dumpsters, honestly or picked up at a thrift store or something, and very minimally decorated. Any decorations in this room, just like the bedrooms, were kind of left by the landlord just to have the house have some sort of character to it. And then I did put up a couple of posters just because I really needed the walls to have something else on them. A couple of posters that I felt uh, fit the mood of this room quite nicely. We will be coming up on the tour of this space very shortly. Before we do, I just want to remind you all that we are in the midst of our Nancy Drew 2022 streamathon. So feel free to check that out whenever I go live. Um, a good way to know that that's happening is to turn on notifications, to hit that little bell and turn on notifications so that every time I go live, you get notified. And... Another good way to know is to join either the Discord or the Instagram or um, keep an eye on the YouTube community tab for when I post the exact times for each of the streams that will be going live. So that has been already very fun. We've already played three games in our Chaos Nancy edition, which has been totally randomized. Um, but I hope to see you all at more streams soon as well. But let's go ahead and pop into our tour. Greetings fellow detectives, here we are at the finished product of our ranch style bachelor roommate type home for Tex and Shorty from Nancy Drew's Secret of Shadow Ranch. In the front here we have the garage with a parking spot for the truck, some simple landscaping, a little bit overgrown since I don't think either of the gentlemen spend that much time uh, trying to keep the exterior of the house looking all that nice. Both of them have different different priorities, let's say. When we move into the house, we enter into kind of this like run down living room space uh, with a kind of nasty carpet, just filled in with basically the bare necessities, a TV and some posters for decoration and a couple items that were already here as part of the rental space. And then into the garage space, which could function as a garage, but instead the gentlemen have decided to use as kind of a man cave storage space. So you've got all sorts of classic garage items in here, including a woodworking table, lots of storage. And then if we go to the backyard, we can see the current inhabitants um, playing horseshoes out here, both um, military sims since this is Strangerville. But we have the backside, oh, hello, the backside of the house with a grill. We have this makeshift fire pit here with a cooler. So the sims can grab beverages again kind of the horseshoes just for fun a couple other functional items and decor meant to make the house kind of blend into the world of strangerville and then if we go through the living room again there is this little hallway space that kind of steps down on a platform we have a bookshelf in here a couple of cacti over to the right is the only bathroom on the property, but it does come fully equipped. It's got a shower, a sink, and a bathtub and toilet over here. Again, meant to look um, pretty, pretty grody. I don't think this gets cleaned a whole lot. Uh, same with the kitchen. I honestly love how the kitchen turned out. I feel like it looks really realistic. I have definitely seen kitchens like this in my day. Uh, the only things that they have uh, for sure are the coffee pot and the microwave. I'm sure both of the gentlemen live quite frequently off of these types of meals. Um, Shorty does most of his cooking over at the ranch itself. Speaking of Shorty, his bedroom is right over here. His bedroom's a little bit on the nicer side. The furniture came with the room, but then he decided to kind of bring in a couple of his own things, including a bookshelf and some of his personal items, including some maps that he's looking at for some perhaps nefarious purposes, a little TV to keep him entertained. I don't think the guys like to spend that much time together out in the living room watching TV. I think if they are home, they are spending most of the time in their individual rooms which is why each one has their own TV 
Texas room came with the furniture that uh, the rental property came with, but anything else he brought in was very makeshift. So Tex's room is quite plain and boring because Tex himself would not care to decorate or personalize his space. He is all about work. So that is the property. That is the ranch house. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Here's kind of a floor plan view for those of you that are curious to see that and then a kind of zoomed out exterior view of the front and of the back. But I hope you enjoyed today's video. I had a lot of fun making this. This was a fun challenge and a really enjoyable uh, kind of style to work with since I don't get to do kind of rundown builds all that often. So I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you really liked this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up or donate with a super thanks to tip me for the video. And as always, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more Nancy Drew and Sims 4 content. Thank you so much for watching, fellow detectives. I I will see you soon.